hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on mappings and functions this is the fourth video on this particular topic check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the links to other videos on mappings and functions in this video we'll be looking at domain of functions first what is domain the domain of a function is the set of x values which when inputted into the function give y values as outputs in other words the domain is the set of input values with which the function produces output values we then go further to see how we can calculate domains of given functions so we start with problem one find the largest domain of each of the following functions we have a uh, functions f g and h and starting from uh, the first function f of x equal to 7 minus 3 x squared this is an example of polynomial function um, in this case what we do is this type of non-fractional function the domain is the set of all the real x because any value of x inputted into this function will give an output therefore the domain of f is all real values of x put any real value of x you get the output so that is the method of finding the domain of a polynomial function so we go to be part of the problem for d this is a function with a denominator so the method of finding domain of this type of a function with denominator and the denominator is not a radical so what we do is to equate the denominator to zero then that value of x we are going to have will be exempted from the domain of the function so we say x minus one equal to zero therefore x is equal to one so in the statement of the domain of the function we say domain of g will be all real values of x except x is equal to one because if you put x is equal to one in this function the function becomes undefined because it's going to be three minus one which gives two over one minus one gives a zero and 2 over 0 is undefined it does not have value in mathematics the function vanishes so any other value of x will fit in therefore the domain of the g of x is all real values of x except x is equal to 1 so we go to problem 1c for problem 1c h of x is equal to x over x squared minus 1 just like we solve g of x we are going to equate the denominator to 0 so we have x squared minus 1 equals 0 then we solved for the values of x so we have x squared is equal to 1 taking this negative 1 to the right hand side so finding the square root of both sides x is positive or negative 1 this is the exemption we are going to have from all the values of x so the statement of the domain now of h will be all real values of x except x is positive or negative 1 immediately you plug in positive or negative 1 here we are going to have 1 minus 1 which is 0 so negative or positive 1 over 0 is undefined therefore 
x is equal to positive 1 or negative 1 will not fit into the domain of h of x and uh, that is the end of the solution to problem 1 so we go to problem 2 for problem 2 we have to find the largest domain of each of the following functions um, in each of these functions the we have radicals so the first function f of x is a radical function g of x has a radical at the denominator as well as h of x and since we cannot have square root of negative number so we are going to create inequalities such that everything inside the square root will be greater than or equal to zero as the case may be from there we now form the range of values of x that will be contained in the domain of each of the functions so we start from a for a we have a square root of 9 minus x squared we are going to equate what we have inside the root to be greater than or equal to zero to find the range of values of x that will form the domain of the function f of x so we have 9 minus x squared greater than or equal to zero this is difference of two squares so we have a 3 minus x into 3 plus x greater than or equal to zero i'm going to employ graphical method to solve these inequalities you can check our youtube videos for problems on quadratic inequalities so what we do i'm going to employ the intercepts so from here i can have my x axis y axis so um the first intercept on the x axis is going to be negative 3 and the other intercept on the x axis is going to be positive 3 since if you look at this as a factor equated to 0 we have a x is equal to 3 which represents this because at that point y will be 0 the same thing here 3 plus x equated to 0 it will be negative 3 so we have it here now we come to this if x is equal to 0 which is the y intercept y will be equal to 9 so we have a 9 here then these are the three points we are going to join to give a sketch of the quadratic inequality we have in problem 2a so we have the sketch of the quadratic inequality since it is greater than or equal to zero we'll be looking at the upper part of the x-axis which represents the positive side of y therefore we shade this is the required region here it's this enclosure the curve and the x-axis so all the values of x within this region will give us the domain of f of x so in the statement we say the domain is set of x such that negative 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 that is the statement of the domain of f of x in problem 2a so what we are trying to say here now is any value within this range of values of x if it is plugged in it will give us a, a meaningful output so take for instance we have zero here when x is zero we have root nine which will give positive or negative three as what output which will form the range of the function the same thing when you put x is equal to one which is within here that's going to give us root 8 root 8 has a value and that will give us the range also so within this interval the value of x we produce an output in this function f of x 
So we go to problem 2b. For problem 2b, we have g of x equal to x over root x plus 1. Again, this is a function with a radical denominator. Since the denominator is radical, in this case now, the denominator cannot be equal to 0. If it is 0, it becomes undefined. And the denominator cannot be less than zero that's the denominator cannot be negative so since with all these we are going to create another inequality solve the inequality to give us the domain of g of x so in this case it must be greater than zero so the we will now have x plus one greater than zero it cannot be zero because square root of zero will give us zero and the denominator becomes zero so we solve this inequality which means x is greater than negative one and uh, we state the domain now so the domain is set of x such that x is greater than negative one if you put x is equal to negative one here it will give us a zero and negative one over zero is undefined put x is negative 2 put x is negative 2 that's negative 2 plus 1 will give us negative 1 and the square root of negative 1 is a complex number so we are not dealing with complex number here we are dealing with real numbers so that is the end of solution to problem 2b we go to problem 2c again in the same way like problem 2b the denominator cannot be zero and what we have inside the roots cannot be negative so what we do is it can only be positive so we create an inequality from here which is x squared minus 4 greater than zero it can be greater than or equal to zero because if it is equal to zero the fraction becomes undefined this is a difference of two squares so we have a uh, x minus 2 x plus 2 greater than 0 uh, we are going to employ graphical method again so we have our x axis y axis if you equate the first factor to 0 it gives 2 and if you equate the second factor to 0 it gives negative 2 so the intercept on x axis will be negative 2 and positive 2 here then we come back here if you equate x is equal to 0 which is the y axis we'll be left with negative 4 so we have a negative 4 on the y intercept we then join the three points to give the sketch of the quadratic inequality represented in this problem so what we do now is since it is the positive side so it is going to be the wings so we have the wings we have the wings which represent the region that when plugged into the function will give an output so that is to say we are going to state the domain now to be set of x less than negative 2 union x greater than 2 because here we go to the right from 2 that's greater than 2 we go to the left from negative 2 that is less than 2 bringing them together we have the domain as x less than negative 2 union x greater than 2 these are the values of x which when inputted into h of x we produce an output take for instance if you take 3 because 3 is greater than 2 so put 3 here we are going to have 9 minus 4 which is positive so we can get the square root of positive 5 from there pick x is equal to 5 that's 25 minus 4 which is positive and here pick x is negative 3 
negative 3 squared will give us 9 minus 4 will give us a uh, 5 which is positive so this is the largest domain of the function h of x and that is the end of solution to problem 2 and invariably this is the end of this tutorial on mappings and functions which specifically treated domain of functions check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get other videos on mappings and functions also check our videos on our youtube channel to get more in-depth knowledge on quadratic inequalities until i come your way again goodbye